I promise you that plenty of better, stronger, more skilled, much more deserving climbers than Alison Levine didn't make it that day for whatever reason. Most of them turned around because of the weather. People that stand up there for a few minutes are no better than the people who turn around just short of the top. Because it's not about spending a couple of minutes up there. It's about the lessons you learn along the way and what you're going to do with that information to be better going forward. The only reason I made it up in 2010 when most people turned back is because I had that failed experience under my belt from 2002. And because of that previous failure, I knew a heck of a lot more about my pain threshold, about my risk tolerance. I knew what it felt like to get the living snot kicked out of me high up on that summit ridge in a storm. And I wasn't afraid of that the second time around. And I think in general, we're not a very failure tolerant society which is really too bad, because a lack of failure tolerance really stifles progress and innovation and prevents people from taking risks. One of the most interesting conversations I ever had about failure was with a guy named Pete Dawkins, General Dawkins. Anyone know the name Pete Dawkins? All right, so I serve on the board of the Thayer Leader Development Group at West Point with Pete Dawkins. So Pete Dawkins was class of 59 from West Point, he was the number one cadet there at the US Military Academy. He was a Rhodes Scholar. He was a Heisman Trophy winner. And he was the youngest person to ever be promoted to the level of general officer in the Army. He was a general that fought in Vietnam. And I was having this conversation with Pete about there, and I thought, this feels like weird and awkward. Because what does a guy like General Dawkins know about failure? He was kind enough to share this article he wrote with me. Back when he was a young captain in the Army, he wrote this article for Infantry Magazine called The Freedom to Fail. And in this article, a young Captain Dawkins is telling senior Army leadership that it's a mistake to look at people with perfect track records and assume that those people are going to be your best leaders. Because sometimes people with perfect track records are just people who have never really pushed themselves that hard and never really gotten out of their comfort zone. And often it's the people who have stumbled, who have fallen, who have been bruised and bloodied along the way, who are the ones out there taking on the most risk so that other people can succeed down the road. Anyone that knows a little something about the history of Mount Everest knows the name Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay, right? First guys to reach the top of Mount Everest. There were dozens of climbers who tried and failed before those guys made it to the top. But they had the benefit of all of the information, right? The 411 from those previous expeditions that helped them achieve their success. You have to give yourselves and your teams the freedom to fail, right? Just come back from it better the next time around.